Hello, my beautiful light family. Welcome back to my channel. It's so good to be here with you. Happy New Year. We are in 2022. It is the vibration of six and six is love, harmony, and community. And this is going to be an amazing year. So I figured I'd come on. I haven't done a video in a while for good reason. When we go through gateways like this, starting at the solstice, sometimes I have to disappear because I'm anchoring massive amounts of light through my physical body, which then requires a lot of rest and downtime on my end. And so uh, some most of the time when that's occurring, I really only have enough uh, light body energy to sustain for my client sessions and my class. So I apologize for disappearing. I did my best to update you through my community posts. Hopefully you guys are all checking in to those. Make sure you are looking out for them. Um, and if you tune in here periodically, but you haven't subscribed, please consider becoming a subscriber. Um, I don't make any money off of it, but it would benefit you if you're continuously receiving these um, these videos that I'm making or my community posts. This way you could stay on your ascension path and have the latest information that is coming through from my higher realm in these transmissions that I'm offering you. So thank you so much for tuning in and joining me here. Also, uh, if you would not mind and you find this information useful, please uh, hit that like button because what it does is it moves me up in the algorithms. I know it's crazy, but it does help me. And, um, you know, I try to come on here and help everybody by doing these, um, these transmissions. So if you could just show some love back, hit that like button, it would mean a lot to me because what it does is it puts my video out there for more people to see. It's just how YouTube works, okay? So the more likes you get, um, the more comments, the more interactions, it's like YouTubers get rewarded for that stuff. It's kind of silly, but that's just how it is. So even if you just stop in and just say hi, um, I would appreciate that so, so very much um, because it does help. So why am I here today? Well, because we have just come through a massive gateway for change, um, amplifying these solar cosmic codes. Uh, the light frequencies have been off the hook, and I really wanted to just come on and give you some simple updates uh, just in case some of you are feeling a little bit off. On January 1st, that was a huge gateway that we went through in this dynamic for us to further split off from the 3D matrix, uh, which is now completed, okay? And so some of you on the first might have been feeling a lot of different shifts and changes within your body, some of you not, and that's okay too, everybody is uh, virtually experiencing their own timeline. So it's not like any one particular um, timeline or experience is going to be the most powerful or the one to have. Okay. But I just wanted to go over a couple of things that you might find beneficial. So as we went through this gateway, uh, our bodies were doing enormous releasing of these uh, matrix imprints. Okay. And what an imprint is, in our electromagnetic field, every time we have a significant event in our life, we form an energetic imprint, an emotional imprint, okay? And that imprint stays in our field. So if we are experiencing, let's say, something like cancer, and that cancer has uh, impacted our life in some way, then we form an imprint in our field, and we attach to the imprint in Gaia's field for cancer, and then we are connected in with the billions of people that either have cancer or know somebody that's had cancer, which makes it it makes us feel that much more emotional. Well, those imprints have been pulling out, right? And now this is it. We are cutting cords with all of that. You might notice your dreams uh, have shifted and are becoming more lucid or 
you're feeling um, energy more, or your intuition is coming online, your body is going through upgrades, you're, you might be feeling different in many different ways, okay? And so these imprints are uh, literally leaving our field as that matrix is now dissolved, which is why I keep saying to point away from what's taking place at a government level, what's taking place out there. If it's not in your immediate um, presence, then it does, it's not going to have an impact on you. Okay. If it's out there somewhere, then it's not yours. Let it be out there. Let it stay out there. There's a lot of stuff circling back up again that we want to just leave where it is especially here in new york um where the mandate was actually mentioned on tv it was never written in anywhere so it's not officially written in it was just mentioned on tv for the mask mandate and suddenly uh, because people are seeing it on tv everybody is in compliance of it which is just showing you the level of um of uh, unconsciousness that's here in the New York area specifically, but I assure you this is happening on a global level all over the planet, okay? Where we have been conditioned to uh, resp respond and react in this way. So where the, all of that is starting to deteriorate and break down because that is a subliminal conditioning like Pavlov's theory with the dogs where he rang the bell each time he was going to feed them and soon all he needed to do was ring the bell and they would start salivating because their emotional body, their mental body knew that they were going to be receiving food. So it was as if they've already received the food in, in front of them. They got all excited and started salivating, right? So it's the same conditioning that we've been going through. And that's why it's taking so long for this COVID story to actually play out because there's been a lot of mental conditioning that has been taking place with this. Now we have to break that conditioning all down. I've talked about this numerous times in other videos, but I figured I'll come in today and just put this all down here um, so that those of you who are new to my channel don't have to dig and hunt for it and you can have it all under one umbrella. So the most un important thing to understand is, is that this is a conditioning and it's been taking place for, <laughs> for eons, for centuries, right? Not, not something that just happened the other day, but it's how we're, we've been programmed here on the earth based on the stories that we've been playing out and the way that we have been um, structuring our lives as we are not really paying attention, many not paying attention to what is playing out around them or taking place around them. All right, and and to, to to no one's fault, it you know when we are undergoing some of this uh, reconditioning training for the mind, it's subliminal. It's it's something that you can't tangibly see. Don't really even understand that it's even happening to you until you look and you go, oh my gosh, look at that! I believe that is a truth, and it's not a truth. And and now I'm I'm feeling perplexed because I'm seeing something that I thought was true and it's not true and what do I do, right? So that's really what's happening right now. As the storyline is getting a little more chaotic, a little bit more crazy, um, a little bit more unpredictable, a little more unreal. Um, and we just have to continue to hold the line in the higher realms and just allow ourselves to play uh, our part in holding that higher timeline, hold, hold the higher light frequency. And so those of you that are in awareness might already be aware of this. Now, what's happening right now on the planet is humanity is, is going into a collective purge, which is why so many people are coming down with COVID, right? It's actually not COVID that is happening. What is happening is, is the light quotient within the uh, human vessel is amplifying so much that we're going into something called flu, frequency light update, okay? And this has been happening for a very, very long time. I could tell you since uh, 1987 with the harmonic convergence um, that the flu that we, many have been feeling is actually for these frequency light upgrades. And I could track back many times where I had flu for like two days, laying in bed, um, you know, 
where I couldn't move. I was achy. And then two days later, it was completely gone and left my body. But the thing is, is it requires you when we go through these upgrades and we feel like we're coming down with a flu, right? The old fashioned flu. Um, we need to get in bed and we need to stay there. We need to make sure that we're nurturing our body and taking care of ourselves. That's the only way to really navigate through this so that we're having the best outcome. We're having the best experience that we possibly can because otherwise it will take longer because we are in resistance to getting in bed and laying down. That's the guilt factor and the shame factor for needing a timeout and needing to rest our body. So the best thing we can do is climb into bed. So, you know, and, and those of us that already are aware of what our body is doing with these light upgrades and DNA upgrades, remember, they are not ascension symptoms, okay, or ascension uh, issues. They're frequency light upgrades. They are DNA upgrades. They're DNA activations, all of the above, but not ascension symptoms that just brings you back into 3d and we don't want to play in the 3d realm anymore because it's not available to us okay it is not there anymore and it will feel very uh, disconcerting if you continue to try to access that uh energy okay so we have to get in bed and we have to make sure that we're staying there now some of the things that happen when we go into flu frequency light upgrades we could feel like we're suddenly coming down with a flu. Our whole body gets achy. The joints get achy. We feel very lethargic, um, which then does require us to go in. We might feel like we're having breathing as if we're having all of a sudden some bronchial issues like a bronchitis or something like that coming on. We might feel like we're having a sinus infection or an earache. Uh, glands, our, our neck might feel like we're having a sore throat or something like that. But the thing is, is if you are in awareness and you're feeling that these things are taking, starting to take a stronghold in your body and you get in bed, then you're actually telling your body, yes, go ahead and do what you need to do because I'm on board. I am supporting you to do this shift, to make this shift, to integrate these light codes. And then getting in bed, guess what? In a day or two, it's gone because all, all that's needed is for this integration to happen, okay? So I started to feel the shift in the timeline on January 1st. It was like we stepped through a gateway. I could feel it. I felt it starting to transpire through my body because I do anchor the light for Gaia, for humanity. And then on the second, I was starting to feel like I, I was going through a massive integration and a massive update. By the third, my uh, chest was starting to feel heavy as if I was, I had caught a cold or something. I didn't have a cold. I knew it was an upgrade, so I did not play there. And so by the end of the third, I was like, all right, I got to get in bed because it's definitely a game on. And I'm just going to take my water bottle with me and I'm going to stay hydrated. And I'm just going to hunker in and get as cozy as I can and just let myself rest. And that's exactly what I did. And then uh, yesterday it was all over. I woke up and as I was coming back out of it, it was like I could feel the energy shift within me. Um, later in the day, I did a, a little meditation. I don't, I don't really meditate much, but I did a little meditation and I could feel myself going through a gateway, a portal way that was in the shape of a diamond, right? And I entered through that to the diamond light frequencies. And immediately I felt a pop and this release within my field, within my physical body. And I felt this excitement, this renewal, and I was feeling uh, February. And I got all excited and I thought to myself, wow, why am I feeling February? Of course, Valentine's Day. I was feeling right into Valentine's Day, heart-centeredness. February, we have more big, big codes coming through, uh, especially on 2-2-2022 two, two, and then 2-22-2022. Two, 
2022. So we're we're setting up for some major, major shifting to happen, okay? Which is why we have to stop looking at what's going on out there. Forget about it, to and out of it. Nobody cares, let it go. Nobody is needing to see any of that. We're needing to stay here and be present within ourselves. That's the way that we're gonna use this opportunity, this gateway to shift us. And I can tell you that the Lyran beings are very, very present during this because when I close my eyes and I lay down at night, that's all I'm seeing in my third eye is these beautiful lion beings coming through, the Lyrans coming through, the Syrians coming through, assisting and supporting us with this, especially the Lyrans, because that's part of their job, the Christ consciousness, okay? So coming through and supporting, and of course, these again are all aspects of ourselves as we're, you know, all of this is is truly us. Um, so, and then magically it's been, you know, I. Uh, a couple of days of seeing phoenixes all over the place, um, you know, just many different places, uh, validated so many times um, in so many different ways, uh, you know, so it's been, I think the first time actually was um, William on uh, Twitter, uh, who is this incredible uh, young star seed that I connected to that I've been working with. Um, and he asked me about um, the Phoenix. He had, he had mentioned about it. And I was like, yes, that is, you know, divinely uh, in sync with what I've been receiving. So there was, you know, that spark coming back. And then when that spark, that sparked some more. And then through my art community, somebody had posted a, a watercolor painting of um, a phoenix. And it was just phoenixes all over the place, which obviously is a process of uh, rebirth, right? Death and rebirth. And so why that was so powerful was because as I was going through this activation, I was in, also in the process of activating my sacral area. And I kept seeing this golden crystalline light activating in my sacral area, realizing that we were all, every one of us, every single soul on this planet, uh, collectively going through a rebirthing of uh, our light body, going through a rebirthing of our divine self, our Christ self. And it was so amazing to continually get that validation. And why that's important to know is because the sacral was activated, just like uh, about two months ago when I posted that the solar plexus had been activated to that crystalline light, okay? And so when the solar, when the, the sacral was uh, activated, the sacral lit up for the birthing process. And now think about it, think about where we've come into birthing this new earth reality, these new earth realms where the skies are all these kinds of magical colors, the violets and the magentas, it's all 5D light, right? All the 5D light frequency. Um, if you're uncertain of what that looks like, check my community posts. I just posted something from the other night. Um, so it's very, very important to have that uh, to have that information because we're all birthing new realities, all of us, even if you're not aware of it in your body. And so for some of you, you might be feeling like at that time or still, because some people will be going through it for a long time until their body adjusts, right? Especially if they haven't been on their ascension path for, uh, for a long time, like I have, uh, their body needs to adjust, but it'll literally feel like uh, you're, you're cramping in your uh, pelvic area, your stomach gets incredibly bloated. Um, and so it's like you're birthing a baby. And this is men and women, there is no delineation, it does not matter. It's both men and women. And it feels like you're birthing a baby, and you might feel bloated, you might feel gassy, where you actually can't get the gas out. That's all part of it. That bloated, your, your stomach might feel very tender. Your pelvic area might feel very tender. Um, your back might bother you because it's also lighting up the solar disc, 33 solar discs in the back. Okay. Which is 33 is the number of Christ consciousness. Um, which is why 333 is such a powerful and significant number because it represents the Christed consciousness that we are going through, this Christed light, crystalline light body. 
And so, so much is happening in the body right now that, you know, there's these massive, massive um, energy shifts taking place. And what's also happening is, is as we've released and dissolved this 3D matrix that is no longer has a hold over us. So in other words, it, you know, the, um, the chaos and the manipulation uh, and the abuse of power that I've been talking about all these, these years cannot be recreated. It's pulling out. This is the end. It's winding down. Um, it's, you know, the, literally the end of the movie, which is why I keep saying to stop watching because there's nothing there that we need to see. And so it's important to have this understanding of how it's feeling in the body. Now, along with it pulling out of the lower three chakras, and you have to remember the, the lower three chakras all relate to 3D and the material world, okay? So some of you may feel all of a sudden like you're not uh, connected to much materialism anymore. Uh, so in other words, you may not, you may find that you're not looking for that new car or new jewelry or things like that, okay? So it's very important for you to tune in and pay attention to what is taking place for you. Now with this pulling out of the field, this matrix pulling out of our field, I will tell you that your lower extremities from your, your hips all the way down to your feet may feel very achy. You may feel like you have um, pulsing energy running down your legs. Uh, like bursts of energy running down that are very uncomfortable. At times it may feel like restless leg syndrome. That is all gamma activating, gamma light frequency activating in our neurological body that is helping us to shed out the old matrices, the old paradigms, the old uh, programs, the habits, the belief systems, all of that stuff. Okay, very, very important to keep that in your awareness. Do not tune into these body aches and pains, trying to figure them out, looking for a doctor who's gonna have an answer as to what's going on. I'm telling you, it's all ascension related, whether you are aware of that or not. And it's very, very important that we turn up the amount of self-nurturing self-care that we are giving ourselves in this moment so we can optimize this experience in our evolutionary process moving into this next highest level of light body. Now, let me just say this, this evolution is not going to stop. It's not going to slow down. I've had people ask me, when will this be over? When will we stop going through these upgrades? The answer is never, right? Because right now, if we think about it, 12 dimensions actually anchored into the earth. I know there's not a lot of awareness of that, but that is true. 12D is already anchored into the earth. The only reason we might not be able to access it is because we have to bring our body up into a 12D frequency. And how do we do that? We do that by continually caring for and nurturing ourselves, okay? And so we might get to ninth dimension, right? With, within our energy body, within our field where we can handle being in a ninth dimensional state of consciousness or interacting with ninth dimensional beings, but we can't go into 10th dimension because if we were to want to go into 10th dimension, our body could not sustain it and we would exit the earth plane. That's why you know I get questions all the time about how come I'm not getting contact? How come beings are not working with me? Well, we have to keep raising our vibration because in order for them to connect with us, they know that they can't be in our field more than a few seconds if we're not a vibrational match to them. And so it makes it very challenging for them to come in and connect with us because their vibration is so high, they'll literally zap you out of your shoes, okay? So it's really important to have that awareness. Also, a lot of times what happens is, is a being could come in and uh, want to make contact with you or connect with you, and you may fall asleep. And that falling asleep process is the integration of the energies that you are trying to... Um, navigate within your field, right? You're trying to integrate them and, um, and upgrade your, your body. The same thing with information. I have people asking me all the time, how come I fall asleep during your videos? 
it's like, I'm, I, I don't, uh, I, it's not that I don't understand what you're saying. I do understand. I love what you're saying, but it takes me many times to watch them fully because I tend to fall asleep during your videos. And I would say that's perfectly okay because what's happening during that time that you're falling asleep is you are integrating the information, you're integrating the light frequencies. And so sometimes your body has to process those frequencies and it can't stay awake when it does that. It has to sleep. So I want you all to be super, super easy on yourselves and you know, not be harsh with yourself. And certainly not judging yourself as to, you know, somebody else's experience or even my experience, no judgment, let it be, right? Right now we're going through massive, massive expansion. Many of you are having crown pressure, headaches, migraines, third eye pressure, ear pressure, all kinds of stuff going on, right? The other thing in the sacral area is we're, we're growing some, a new gland there that needs to come online to, that's going to help us with, um, you know, the shifting on the earth, uh, the, um, level of plasma light frequency that's, um, influx on the earth as we're in this crystalline plasma, uh, diamond light, uh, solar cosmic light frequency, right? It's like, a uh, um, a melting pot of all kinds of yummy light frequencies and codes. So, Anyway, I want you all to allow yourselves to be completely present and show up for what it is that's taking place. Let go of how you think it should look. Allow yourself to come online. We're going through some massive, massive changes. Um, you know, it's really important for you to just allow yourself to experience whatever is transpiring and not judge. When we get into judgment, we're lowering our vibration and then we're not integrating the codes. It's taking longer to do what could be done very quickly if we could just get out of our head and stay out of judgment. Now, I will tell you, the more that you're tuning in, the more you're going to see these magical new earth realms. The sky, especially at night, is going to look incredible with all kinds of colors. You're going to notice that when you take pictures of the sun during the day, it's going to be very different. And each day it may look slightly different, and that's okay. Uh, the sun may be sparkly and radiant one day, and the next day it may look like a a condensed spotlight and each time it's showing up for you and you are taking a picture of it it's a direct reflection of the light you're holding within as that is um, a mirror for you for your own personal reflection all right so don't get caught up in how come my picture doesn't look like somebody else's or my experience is not like somebody else's. It's not meant to be. We're all on our own individual timeline. Then we're on a major collective timeline uh, for the whole of humanity. And then there are many, many collective groups that we are also in. So it's super important to just let go and just allow yourself to enjoy and be excited and stay excited for what you are experiencing. I know for myself, I'm in such creator states, which is the frequency of light that we're in now, bringing us to these higher creator states. Um, as I'm doing this transmission for you, it's like I have butterflies in my stomach. I'm feeling excited. Uh, I'm also uh, wanting to do more artwork and I find myself making myself available to to do that, uh, making sure that I'm uh, allotting time to do that amongst the many other things that I have on my schedule uh, that needs my attention. And then, of course, uh, you know, giving my attention to and focus to my online community. So make, you know, whatever you're doing, uh, bring it up into the higher timeline, into that creator state. Uh, make the focus of it um, joy and happiness and amplify that in it, no matter what you're doing. And if you're feeling sadness or you're feeling uh, grief or discomfort or anything like that, tune into yourself, into your energy body and ask, 
is this mind that I'm feeling or am I still playing the empath game, tuning into the collective whole? Because we're going to see a lot of people that are going to be coming into awareness as we go through this next phase of a wake up that are going to be feeling less than happy about what they have been playing into uh, unknowingly uh, through, you know, this uh, COVID situation. So do your best to navigate you. Do not let your uh, emotions get away from you. <laughs> it's very easy to do, but don't do that. Let yourself be playful and stay in these higher light frequencies. It's so important right now to be present and aware for what is transpiring in each moment. We need to be feeling the freedom, even if it doesn't look like freedom out there. We need to be feeling it. We need to be accessing it. We need to be conscious of the words that we are choosing. Okay. It's so important to make sure that we are choosing words that are in the highest alignment. All right. And, and so, you know, those words are very common words that we're using and we're, we're talking all the time. Right. Um, so the word hope, Hope is not a high vibrational word, but the word faith is a high vibrational word, right? So making sure that we swap out, well, I hope I could do that for, oh, I have faith that that's going to happen, right? Um, and even when I'm, I'm in, you know, communication with someone, even in written communication, I never say, well, I hope you have a great day. I don't say that. I always say, I wish you a wonderful day because I do wish for them a wonderful day and I want them to take in a wonderful day feeling for themselves too, right? Whoever I'm connecting with. So let's try to uh, remind ourselves of that. I am consistently trying to do that with myself so that I could stay in these higher timelines and I am coming from the highest place within myself. Please do not forget at night before you sleep, you want to ask that the momentum of your thoughts slow so you can enter sleep state. This way you are assured you're letting go of whatever it is that you were bringing into your sleep time from your day because your day had great momentum. And now at sleep time, you want to slow that momentum. And then you want to be on your highest timeline, whatever that is for you, the highest timeline available to you. And then just call in all new realities. Universe, I demand new realities when I wake up in the morning. Let me have magic. I command magic. I command, you know, whatever, sparkles, uh, uh, whatever it is that you're looking for, okay? And so this is how we're navigating these new realms. Expect miracles. Expect fabulous. Expect with the greatest wonder and excitement that you can feel within yourself and let that build in each moment in each time, okay? We are getting there. It may not look it out there, but out there is not where we should be pointed. We don't have any business focusing on what's out there because it's not meant for us, especially those of you following my channel. You know, this is a higher level consciousness. We're going from 5D to 9D now. So we're a higher consciousness community here. And we're not playing in the lower realm of 3D anymore. 3D is not my place, right? And it's not your place either. Those of you that are tuned in here on this channel are all higher ascended beings of light. You're all ascended masters. Do not forget yourselves. Come from a place of love. Hold love for yourself first so you can be that love for other people. And then bring that forward into your day. And I promise you magic will happen. All right. So again, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, if it comes to you to do so, please do something nice for someone on your path today or tomorrow, um, just to make someone else's day a little brighter, whether it's a smile or anything else, doesn't have to be anything magnitudal, okay? 
just a little something so that we could pass this uh, love vibration on and bring this planet up into harmony and joy so that we can have a greater community experience. All right. Know that I love you so, so very much. And I wish you a wonderful whatever it is that you're doing. I look forward to seeing you again here on this channel real soon. Uh, drop a comment below. Let me know how you're doing, especially if I haven't heard from you in a while. We haven't communed. I am sorry for that. I've been anchoring the codes. Whenever you see me disappear, it's because my work is changing in that moment and my presence is needed to bring these frequencies through. But I never leave. I'm always here. And if you don't see me in a video, you'll see me in the community. All right. Know that I love you. Have a wonderful whatever time you're in. And I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.